It's your boy, Slim the Fox, with a review of Season 2, Episode 9 of Raising Canaan. Well, first of all, Lou back to gooning. He on back, he back full time in goon time with the silencer putting in work. So that's cool to see. Well, not cool for for his enemies, but that's cool to see. He ain't on the, the, the music thing too heavy. He still is, but not as heavy as before. Mob killed Marvin, anger management um, counselor. That was messed up because she was really feeling Marvin. Probably could have changed his whole life around. So that kind of got him in his feelings. Famous lazy, lazy as hell. Don't want to do nothing but sleep all day and do nothing. And he reckless. Done went and, and caught a body. So ain't no telling what that's going to end for him. It might not end good for him. So that's, he just, he might be, he might be out of here. Lou, new business partner, Milk Dirt Head, Cartier, Milk Dirt Head. He trying to, he, at the beginning, he was trying to take over on some, on the business tip for the music business concern, but he got his issue a little later from um, Rock and, and once again, Lou, who on that goon time. Cause uh, Lou did an undercover deal with a uh, milk dirt head underboss, and I guess he gave him the the okay or gave him the, the information they needed to go ahead and put that work in on him. So milk dirt head out of the pitch. Got the dope fiend homie out there snitching, telling. You know what I'm saying, trying to tell anybody to get out of trouble, and he pretty much did get out of trouble by telling about caning up, shooting his shooting his pops, the police do. So that's crazy Marvin tried to turn a new leaf on him and didn't kill him and gave him some money and sent him on the bus and the dude still got off the bus and ain't no telling what he about to do even more probably some more telling police pops Howard he, he, you know I mean he, he was pretty cool this episode you know he, he, he trying to be, go back to being a Muslim and trying to walk a straight path really I mean he never really was super cricket but he trying to do right he dropped some words of wisdom on Canaan Pretty much, I think Cannon hit it for what we know him as in the original Power series. He he pretty much headed towards goon time. So he he definitely showing signs of being the older Cannon, starting to form into the older Cannon that we know of from the Power, Power series of the earlier shows. And Jukebox and, and Rock had a little heart to heart by the dishes, busting suds. It wasn't too much Jukebox in this episode. She's in the here and there, but she wasn't in it too much. Neek stood tall in the paint, didn't didn't turn his didn't sell nobody out. You know what I'm saying didn't sell rock out. So, you know, that's different for him. So that was surprising to see. I don't know how that's gonna end up affecting him, but you know, he stood tall. He ain't sell rock out to the mob. So it's all shaping out to be a pretty crazy looking episode season finale next week. So definitely looking forward to it. Overall, hey, I'm going to get this episode of 3.5 silences out of five. It put that work in. This episode put that work in. Um, whoever writing this shit, like I said in the last review, hey, somebody need to give them a raise or a pat on the back because they, they really been doing their thing. Another solid episode, 3.5 silences out of five. And this is your boy, Slim the Fox, signing out. Peace. 